Well, stay with us, of course. We also continue our conversation in developing educational safety and health resources for rural families. And that note, the Progressive Ag Foundation has created the project initiating the Safety Conversation, which was recently awarded a mini-grant. Well, Education Content Specialist with the Progressive Ag Foundation, Jana Davidson, now joins us here in studio for a further look. And Jana, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you, Jana, for having me. Well, it's been a pleasure. I had the chance to visit with you guys a little bit. You've got quite a group you're traveling with. Yes. Uh, explain, first of all, what the Progressive Agriculture Safety Day program is. Sure. Well, the Progressive Agriculture Safety Day program is a program designed for children living on farms, ranches, and rural communities. Our main focus is children ages mm -hmm. 4 to 13 years of age. We provide hands-on education in a fun way, and our goal is to keep that entire family safe, those children to come home and teach the lessons they learned at that event. How long, tell us, uh, give me a little background on the organization. How long have you guys been around? All right, we've been around now for 25 years. Oh, We're wow. getting ready into our 26th year, so it's amazing. We started in 95, and as a result of a lot of farm incidents that were taking place um, in the ag world. So uh, we are very excited. We have a lot of new topics coming where we started very much in the agriculture and farming. Now we're starting into new topics, tackling mental health, uh -huh. tackling vaping, and also this new one about starting the safety conversation. Well, that sounds great. So give us a little bit more of some of the key safety tips we need to keep in mind. Okay, so as far as this project where we're starting the safety conversation, I think we're starting to get immune to some of the safety issues and yeah. concerns that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. It, you know, whether it's on social media or we're actually seeing it in person, a lot of times we turn a blind eye or we seem to turn our head because mm -hmm. we don't want confrontation. Yeah. We really want to avoid that. But what we want to do as the Progressive Agriculture Foundation is provide resources and talking points to walk them through what they can do to keep those children safe in their mm -hmm. communities and, you know, provide them with great resources. A good example here is riding ATVs without helmets. How many of us have seen that just on yeah. social media alone? What can we do to share some statistics as to why that's important, as to why it's important for children to do um, age-appropriate tasks mm -hmm. while they're on the farm? We want to start that passion for agriculture at a young age and mm -hmm. develop that. And there's so many ways that we can do that, but we don't need to put children in a dangerous situation to get that accomplished. So in talking about this information, where can we get these resources and who is it available to? Okay. Many of our resources are available right on our website. It's mm -hmm. progressiveag.org. But we also have a second website that is designated to our coordinator. So as our Progressive Agriculture Safety Day program gets new volunteers that are trained as coordinators, they have access to their own database and their own resources where they can get these. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for sharing the insight. I know we appreciate it. Thank you, Again, Jana. talking with Jana Davidson. She's with the Progressive Agriculture Foundation, Foundation, that is, joining us here in studio on this Friday afternoon.